So in general, a new technology we developed. It was in the middle of the pandemic. We didn't know how to shoot movies in the future. We might be all alone in a room together, right? So in volumetric capture is a way to capture individual actors' performances and bring them into a movie in a safe way. And um, so we started this crazy idea that we can do it at a photographic quality, feature film quality level, and ultimately we're able to bring it to life in now multiple projects, The Flash, Aquaman, multiple Netflix projects like One Piece, and the upcoming shows that I cannot talk about. And <laughs> so it's amazing to be recognized for this like pretty crazy endeavor and this high risk that we had to take to bring this technology that was just an idea in the beginning to life, but ultimately solve problems and make it create a new capability for filmmakers and new choices of how they can approach making a movie and also to create a safe environment for actors with new technology. And I think that's why we're here and that was what everybody recognized and we're very happy about that. I think that means everything, right? Because you can sit in your room and think it's a freaking great idea, um, but maybe everybody else thinks it was not a good idea. And I think coming here at the end and seeing this recognition, I know that uh, there's so much good work out there, but um, seeing it come together is beautiful. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Cool. It's a lot of work, and if you can see how it is used, it is just you know, the biggest uh, question that we didn't know was once the key lead actors, top Hollywood actors, are in this system, in this capture system, how do they like it? You know, do they think, oh, what's all this tech like? I, I can't really work. Or is it like, wow, this is organic. I can do what I want and still be cool in a movie and I'd achieve certain, you know, things. I don't need to be in a rig anymore. I, need to, I can overcome all kinds of limitations. And the beauty was really that Everybody loved it, they enjoyed still the relationship they had with the director, even though there was a lot of technology around them. And that, I think, fundamentally pushed us to, to keep pushing into this direction and improve the tech and work on it more. Versus, you know, the first few shoots would have been like, I can't do this. <laughs> so I think the acceptance and the ability of actors to, and filmmakers to, to work with technology and feel it like just a new form of doing it um, uh, was, was, I think, one of the key good feelings about this. Just dream big and just go for it. Like, there's risks you take. You don't know yet where it takes you. But if you believe you have a good idea, just follow that dream and keep going at it. And we didn't know that we would stand here today. Yeah, and it's worth fighting for it. Yeah. And there will be things, obstacles thrown into your way. And in our case, from travel restrictions to how I get equipment to London, where the shoot was happening, to supply chain breaking down and source equipment like to I mean so many issues but every time just every time you get beaten down like stand <laughs> up and say no I'm on a mission or we're on a mission here together and then, of course being supported by people that believe in you or believe in the mission as well I would, um, I would also add like try to join a team that inspires you where, where, where you can really see those people and their hard work and, and how, how far they're pushing things forward. That would be a very good thing for a young person to do is join a team that really pushes you to the next level.